Hello and welcome to the second of our quick video tours of your Step Out Center. In this video, we're going to cover how to upload contacts into your address book. Once you've logged in and joined your Step Out Center, you can come over here to your right hand column on the Home tab and click Manage Contacts. And you're going to have three basic ways to upload your contacts. First, notice that if you use the same username you used last year, any of your pre-existing contacts are already there, and you should be able to see them. Your first way to upload a new contact is to click Add Single Contact. This will allow you to simply enter the first name, last name, and email address of someone that you want to enter. Click Add and the email will be added straight into your address book. Your second option is to import your contacts from a file. Clicking this is going to give you two sub options here. You can log in to a Gmail or Yahoo account and copy your address book directly over. Enter your Google or Yahoo username and password. At which point you'll be, grant, or you'll be given the option to grant or deny access. Click to grant access. The system will not record your username or password. It will only use it to access. You'll then click next. It will give you the option to automatically copy in your entire address book or it will give you the option to import only some of your contacts. If you choose the sum option it will allow you to pick and choose. Click next. It will show you that you successfully saved in the contacts, give you an overview, and click Finished. It will reload and show you your new updated address book. Your last option here is to upload an existing CSV file of your contacts. To upload a CSV file, click Import Contacts from File and select CSV File this file can include exported address books from other programs. It's going to prompt you to browse and select the file. When you're setting up your file, you're going to need to make sure that it's set up exactly as displayed here. If you've exported the address book from another program, you will need to remove any extraneous columns aside from first name, last name, and email address. No street names, no cities, no zip codes, no spouses names, only first, last, and email, and you'll need to change your header row to read exactly first, last, and email. Save the file, and when you do so, make sure that you're saving it as a CSV file. Once you've done so, browse your computer, find your test, click Next, it will show you a preview and upload your contacts. This will allow you to quickly incorporate pre-existing address books into your online fundraising center so that you don't have to manually enter each individual contact hand by hand. Stick around for our next online educational video, which will be managing your address book, how to set up and use groups. We look forward to seeing you then.